I'm 51 and so I don't have the smoothest eyelids but I'll be goddamned if that's gonna keep me from wearing fancy eyeshadow. Hi guys, welcome back to Pavanine Studios Beauty and Art. My name is Amy. Today I'm excited to try a couple of things that I got in the mail yesterday, or at least one thing that I got in the mail yesterday. I haven't decided which one I'm gonna use. But I picked up a couple of the BH Cosmetics Sweet Shop palettes. Um, I currently have the Cherry on Top and Orange Sorbet. So I have the red slash pink and then the orange one. And I have the blue one on order, but I haven't gotten it yet. I swatched them a little bit on my hand yesterday when I got them, and they seem stunning. I mean, really. I'll just give you, these are four swatches from the cherry on top one and the the pigmentation on these seems really nice we'll see we'll see how how long they last but so one thing to note about these palettes is that they are pressed pigment palettes and so they are not supposedly not meant for use on the eyes what that usually means is that they are staining and so it's not that they're dangerous per se they're just it's just that they are um those are those are terrible swatches amy i i'm i'm no good at that you will probably never see a a swatch party from me but um they are just doing it on my on my hand and stuff they are definitely uh, pretty staining so that means use an eye primer folks which you should always do anyway in my opinion so I am going to go ahead and do that using the huge I also picked up the take me back to Brazil palette which um, the only one that I've really dipped into just to kind of test it out was the black one so many pretty colors and I definitely want to use one of those uh, one of those shimmery shades so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and take a fluffy brush and I'm gonna start with the color Sunday which is the obvious transition shade now I don't know that I'm gonna do anything super fancy but I do want to try these out because I've, I've heard good things about them and BH Cosmetics um, eyeshadows are, are typically, they're typically pretty decent. So I am planning to go to the farmer's market today with a friend and I'm going to go to, I think I'm going to go to Michael's and see if I can find some kind of lighting, string lights of some sort to go behind me because I'm just not happy with the little fairy lights that I have, especially since they're on a white, a white cord. I also picked up some brushes. Oh, I should be using the brushes I got. So I picked up four different brushes from BH Cosmetics and I just was trying to it's really hard to pick brushes online I think unless you have already purchased them because you have no idea what size they are so this one is this one's big for my eyes and this one's pretty big too the other two I really like and so um, I think I'm gonna take this one which is supposed to be I think a pointed crease brush and I'm going to dip into the color Wild Cherry, which is the next darkest color. And we're just going to kind of fluff that into the, into the crease. I'm most interested to see how these blend out because they are pressed pigments, which can be a challenge. Okay. 
See, this brush is just a little, a little too big for this particular step. So I'll go ahead and do the other eye and then I'll switch. I quite like that they included a pretty dark shade in both of these palettes to deepen that outer corner and, and just make things a little bit more uh, dramatic and smoky. So same color, I'm just, I just took a little bit the other, I took a smaller brush and I'm focusing that. So far those seem really nice. I think I am going to, I'm not going to add any more product, but I think I'm going to bring this color in a little further and up to the brow, just on this inside part. The other day I mentioned having what I considered pretty, pretty wide spaced eyes and that being the reason I didn't usually go for a like an inner corner highlight is because I felt like that made this part of my nose like look too a little bit too wide for my liking. So I'm just gonna, gonna bring this in just a little bit and see if I can kind of, I don't know, counteract that. I'm not sure if that's quite the right word, but. And I'm gonna go into the color Tarte, which is the more red shade. There is a fair amount of kick up in the palette, so if that bothers you, keep that in mind. It doesn't really bother me, I mean, pressed pigments are one of those things you have to be kind of gentle with anyway, because I don't care who makes them, they're going to kick up in the palette. So how's everybody doing? I feel like we should all be super, like just old hats at this quarantine business. But, uh, and while everything does still feel, feels like the new normal, it's still weird. I don't know, this whole year has been weird and dramatic and troublesome and oh all the things so what do we think I think though that is some dramatic red eyeshadow and I kind of like it I will take a clean brush here in a sec and just kind of go over all of this and make sure everything is nice and blended and I placed an order with Sephora the other day. I'm supposed to get it Monday and I can hardly wait. I, I, I spent way too much, guys. But uh, I wanted to get a couple of foundations and one thing I'm, I'm super excited about and I'm trying to decide if I wanna spoil it. <laughs> or not, or if that will get you to come back and watch. But uh, I, yeah, I, I picked up the a Pat McGrath palette and I've never purchased a Pat McGrath palette because they're hella expensive, uh, 125 bucks, which is, mm, I really, I, I think I was a little out of my mind when I bought that, but I bought, I didn't buy one of the new ones. I bought one that's been around for a while. So I bought the, the bronze palette and fingers crossed guys that I like it. If I don't like it, that bitch is going back because I don't have $125 to waste on something that I'm not going to use that I don't like. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to see what all the, all the hype was about. And that one felt like maybe the most useful one to me. 
I don't know. They all look kind of, in a way they look kind of similar. I also picked up the Melt She's in Parties palette. And I've been disappointed in Melt's palettes before, but I'm giving it another shot. Anyway, and I got some skincare stuff and that's the thing that makes your, I mean, Pat McGrath aside, makes your total, <laughs> your total go up if you buy skincare stuff. So right now I'm just kind of, oh, I'm kind of cutting my crease a little bit here, kind of a, I don't know, can you softly cut something? That's what I feel like I'm doing. Man, I don't know, this color in here called Black Cherry is, I, it's, it's gorgeous. And I know that the camera's not gonna pick it up very good, but it's, it's like this copper color. And it's not like I don't have copper shadows, of course I do, but this, there's something about this one that's just, Mmm, so yummy. But I'm going to the farmer's market, not the club, although it's probably a little too late for <laughs> thinking about that. So I'm trying to decide if I want to go in mar with Marchino or Juicy. Those are the colors there. Hmm. I think I'm going to go in with the color Juicy. Not because I don't like the other color. Maybe I want to go over a maraschino with sweet. Hmm. These are big decisions I'm trying to Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to go in with maraschino and I'm going to try it dry and we'll see how it goes. Do I need a spray? I might need a spray. We'll see if this improves the, the outcome. Right now, I don't feel like it's making any difference. So I'm not gonna worry too much about going all the way out to the, the end here, because I'm gonna go in with the darkest matte, which is called Sprinkles. And I'm going to darken things up a little bit. So that's not too bad. Oh, shut up. So we have these little adorable, they're adorable, little squirrels <laughs> that uh, hang around, little red ones. And they're super, super cute, but they make the most obnoxious sound. I'm gonna go back in with that red color and just kind of blend where that and the, the shimmery color meet. I really need to invest in some really good brushes. I'm just, I don't know, I think about it and I just, I guess I am not a, I'm not a cheap person, but there's something that just always holds me back from spending a lot of money on a brush and I don't know why that is. I need to invest in some, some really good brushes. Okay, so I'm gonna take the color Sprinkles and we're gonna see how how dark this is, how much I can build it up. That's pretty nice. It's um it I like that it's dark, but you can still tell that it is a a red color. I definitely appreciate that. So I'm just focusing that on the the outer corner here and then I will I will bring it into my crease a little bit. I'm just going to take a clean brush and this one's kind of ratty looking but I'm just going to kind of sketch that in my crease. There's nothing on my nothing on my brush but 
And I'm not going back and forth, I'm going out in. We're going to take that same brush and I'm just going to go along the edge here. It's a natural hairbrush, so it's a little bit more scratchy, for lack of a better word. And I kind of want that right now because I'm trying to diffuse this outer corner and make a nice blend. I am going to go in with my fingers, which I don't really care to do very much. And I'm going to pick up this color sweet, and I'm just going to tap that right in the center. just for a little extra, you know, something, something. And there's a little bit of a little bit of fallout, but not too bad. I am going to grab a little brush here, and hopefully this is relatively clean. We're gonna pretend that it is, and I'm just gonna kind of instead of wiping with something wet with these colors, I'm gonna try to flick away as much as I can before I go in with anything wet, because I have a feeling that if I did that, it would just like smear. Red. I'm going to go ahead and clean up just a little bit. So because I wiped under my eyes like that to clean up a little bit, I'm going to put on a little bit of uh, like under eye cream. This is the one from Honest. So I'm going to go ahead and let that sink in for a bit and I'm going to go warm up my coffee and uh, and then we'll work with the liner and see how that performs. All right, before I move on to the eyeliner, I decided I was going to take like a little, a little brush and I'm gonna go into that color Black Cherry because I think I'm gonna bring that like down and kind of under, like an inner corner highlight only, it's not gonna be a highlight, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that right here in the inner corner. And then I will do the other part, bring it down and under when I do my, after I do my foundation and stuff. But I just wanted to add a little bit so that there was a nice connection. I definitely want to put that all over my lid at some point. This is the BH Liquid Eyeliner, and it's a felt pen, and it's kind of a fat little guy. And I, you probably see, I yesterday I swatched it, and I've showered and washed my hands and stuff, so it definitely seems like it's got some good staying power. It seems nice and black. I'm gonna line my top lash line, and I'm gonna do a wing. The sort of short um, stubbiness of this brush is making it a little bit difficult to control. And usually I like a longer felt tip or brush, either one, so that I can lay it more flat on my, on my lid. So I'm not crazy about that, but it did seem to go over all of those shimmers and stuff well. I'm gonna take the black shade from the Take Me Back to Brazil palette that I showed you a little bit ago and I'm gonna put that on like a little, uh, what do they call them, flat definer brushes, and um, I'm gonna kind of, not exactly smoke out that line, but kind of smoke it out. I'm gonna go ahead and tight line, and this is just the, what is this? The Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner. I don't know, it's just a black liner that I have. Okay, I'm gonna go into that black shade from the Take Me, to Bra Take Me Back to Brazil. I don't have the first one. The first time we went to Brazil, <laughs> I don't have that one. 
and I'm just going to kind of push this along my lash line and see what that does. My hope is that it will soften mistakes for lack of a better word. They're not really mistakes, it's just that I'm 51 and so I don't have the smoothest eyelids, but I'll be goddamned if that's going to keep me from wearing fancy eyeshadow. I'm just going to take that black liner on that definer brush and I'm not really making my wing, I'm just kind of stamping in a little bit of a, a guide. Okay, I think that's as good as it's going to get for today. I don't love that. Um, it wasn't too hard to get a like a nice little point and stuff, but it doesn't flow, I guess, as much as I would like it to. And that can be a good thing. That can be a bad thing. You know, if you get something that's too that's too fluid, then it can just end up being you know, a mess. I'm just going to pick up a little bit more of that black shade on my definer brush and I'm just going to kind of push that in right here. Okay, I think I'm going to leave my eyes there for the moment. I'm going to go put on the rest of my face and I will come back and I will give you some final thoughts on the Sweet Shop uh, Cherry on Top palette from BH Cosmetics. Okay guys, I am back and I've got the rest of my makeup on. I went ahead and went under my lashes with the darkest color in the Cherry on Top palette and a little bit of the black from the Take Me Back to Brazil palette. I'm really pleased with the way my eyes turned out today. Uh, I am wearing the Kala Kayla Bolt lashes in the style Flare and um, I went into my waterline with that same voluminous whatever one I mentioned before. <laughs> uh, the the eyeliner I'm not mm, I'm not love it. We'll see how it lasts. But as far as my ability to like control it and stuff, it wasn't bad. I'm not sure. You know, I'll go ahead and use it because I bought the damn thing. But I'm not sure that I would re purchase that we'll see you know I mean if it turns out to be super fabulous long wearing and everything and it wasn't that hard to make like the the point on my wings those turned out pretty pretty well I will let you know if anything changes if it creases horribly I'll do a check-in something like that but for now I feel relatively confident saying that this is gonna get a thumbs up from me and I'm looking forward to trying the orange one and of course the blue one when it comes in. And I think that is going to do it for today's look. And I will link the video to the rest of my face makeup and so forth so that you can check that out if you'd like to see the rest of uh, what I've got on my face for this completed look. Thank you so much for joining me today and spending a little bit of time with me. Uh, I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe, ring the bell for notification whenever I upload a new video. And until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.